Hello everybody and Merry Christmas or Happy Christmas or something in between. Yeah, for some it should be already ha Merry Christmas, for some it's tomorrow. I think it's more common in Europe to have Christmas around the 24th and I think in the US it's more 25th. Uh, anyway, I hope you can enjoy this Christmas Eve. And we are here in a completely new world, in a completely new pack, in a slightly old version of Minecraft actually. We are here in 1.7.10 and this is Gregtech New Horizons. I hope you enjoy. <music> right into the game and yeah I'm very very excited for that because I plan to play um, Greg Tech for a long long time okay strange I'm playing locally and I still have some little lags okay just to get a little bit of clay we gonna need that yeah I started playing Greg Tech New Horizon half a year ago with two other friends and yeah it was on a server and then stuff happened and this and that and our playstyles haven't aligned completely good and all that stuff so I thought yeah mm, playing that along is not really a good option or it would be an option but yeah then it would be also something I do in off time and I don't have a problem with that in general but I think it's better to do it as a full let's play and so here we are I of course will continue journey across the void um, but I'm planning to do both series a little bit different to one another so journey across the void oh uh! ah, that scared me a lot um what i was trying to say <laughs> before i get scared through all of that stuff and things and yeah journey across the void is more focused on building kind of um, or should I say not completely building but um, has a good focus around me trying to build the castle and put all in the castle and all that kind of stuff because when it comes to the difficulty journey across the void is not really a difficult pack it's a big pack with nice mods where you can build contraption and all that stuff but it's not complicated or time consuming to get basic stuff done it's just doable in shorter amounts of time okay if those legs continue we certainly gonna need to do something maybe optimize the game a little bit more or actually put that all on a server and play that on the server or something because I know for a fact that when I played it on a server it wasn't that bad so maybe it's just single player ish or to have something open that eats away my power my PC Let's check. Okay, CPU is okay ish. I mean, I am recording, but still, it's in the goods. And there's no other game open. Okay, uh, Adobe is open, but that's not really a problem because it's not rendering or doing something. 
So we should be good on that part. So I don't know. Let's wait and see. Maybe it gets better, hopefully. So what I was trying to say is that Journey Across the Void is not difficult and I love difficult packs. So it's a whole other thing. We don't gonna do a grand build here. We are here more focused on getting through the pack, getting through the tiers and building up a huge amazing base. And on that part there will be something that is in that kind of way with Factorio in the future. I can say that much or <laughs> there's not a big secret actually. Um, I'm planning to do um, Bob's and Angel after our Mega Base series. So that's the kind of stuff that I actually like doing complicated chains and stuff. So Gregtech is actually a pack that is fitting for me in that manner. So yeah, we are playing Gregtech now and I really hope that you will be with me the whole series around. So now we did that quest here. So what are we gonna do have here? We have that quest, that's backup stuff, that's that, this. Okay, that's just information, if I remember correct. So the next part is that. Getting wood, getting gravel. Shouldn't be a problem. But it's night, and that is a big problem. So we need to yeah, hide and wait for the day before we can do anything major because that's the biggest problem that the knights are just bad I put this to bright but then still it's hardcore darkness and bright only helps me to see enough to hide away Hopefully. Because I want to hide in here. Just like that. And now we are at least somewhat safe for the moment. And I'm gonna wait until it's day. And that's the first point to cut this episode until it's day. And then I'm just punching tree a little bit and bring you back when I have to wood and the gravel. What was that? Hopefully the f all of that gets better in a moment. So see you guys in a moment. And back. And yes, we are not where we left off. And this has a reason. <laughs> well, I kind of broke my game. <coughs> yes, I did something terrible wrong and I don't know what exactly, but I died and then spawned and fall beneath bedrock uh, infinitely down and the world never generated properly again and I wasn't able to teleport to my grave and yeah. Um, then I set up now Gregtech as a server and connected from my local machine to the server. And now everything looks a bit better, I would say. Also, no more mini stutters, uh, but also new world. So, new save file, new world. And yeah, we spawned directly next to a village. And here we are in the village. Um, I already gone through and collected a bit more wood and also some of the chests. Okay. That does not leave the cane because of too much wood in the area, but when I'm now removing this wood here, we should see the instant leaf decay. Uh-huh. Maybe this wood thing here. Yes. 
and yeah it's so much faster and I can even click them instantly and get the info and all this stuff so it's way better that way yeah I also got around and looted as much as possible or at least the stuff I thought that could be useful not all because there are still some things that I should try to collect like this crafting table because I think crafting tables are yes a bit different also collected Thanonicons too, a skeleton skull, a bit of gold, not of fragments from Tom Craft and a witchery book. So nothing that special, but just simple starting stuff. Also the next good thing of this village is that I can simply grab all of that nice stuff. And we have a smeltery here. This is actually one of the best spawns that we could possibly have and i think we're gonna stay a little bit in this village or even just make this village our own so we think we're gonna start with lighting up the area and transform it a little bit in terms of leveling it, it out remove most of the buildings that nice stuff and we're gonna utilize the wall part so we have a nice safe starting area light up the whole area inside the wall and then have fun I think that's one of the best decisions we could make but at the moment we are not completely there I think we should first try to get some tools and stuff and then it's easier to remove most of the stuff here with tools and not just by hand so Let's take a look on the quests here. Mm. We are here and this is that stuff. We get one torch. I don't think we need one torch right now. And those coins are just stacking up and stacking up. So I'm not collect the quests right now. So we need to make flint. Flint is made that way. And uh, let's do it like that because we need 10 flint. This is that. That's the flint quest. Grab another flint. Now make a crafting table. And it's a crafting task. So we need to make one. Just like that. One crafting table. Mm, we don't need apples right now. So just continue. What was that? If you're playing single player as well. Wow. Um, uh, what? What is that? Ah, okay, that's pack reloading, but we don't need to reload the pack right now. So that's how the questing system works mm. just that there are quests that's okay and I accidentally completed that one uh, I need an apple okay I think one of the quests actually gave me an apple um, which one you so I'm grabbing the apple right now and now it was simply apple plus that one gives me an apple sapling. Good. Here's some other saplings, but we're not gonna place them down right now. So now storage stuff. It wants me to make a chest. So chest is a bit different, but should be still doable. And uh, nope. Maybe I can even just simply do... Oh yes, right. That's the old NEI thing with not auto-inputting if I'm... Oh yes, and that's also a normal crafting table. Can we just simply... 
No? No, apparently not. Oh god, that's... That's all just horrible. I want my Tinker stuff. Please. Four. So much wood. Four. And... I just want a chest. Please. Thank you. Here I can place in most of the stuff I don't need at the moment. Like the books, that stuff. Let's keep that part in for the moment. This one, that one. Like that. That's uh, one more chest. Just to have a good double chest. So. Next thing is tools. Yes, we need tools. We need tools. So, so important. So, it's that part. Okay, how are we gonna make that? I think that's flint stuff. Yeah, just sticks and flint. I think we can do that. This one is a shovel. Pickaxe. Axe. Sword. That should be... Oh, I also need a hoe. We can make a hoe. That's not a problem at all. That should be... That one. Okay. Should be all of that. Don't want these quests right now because we simply don't have a storage space for all of that. But I think the next thing would be to go this round here. Uh, I already made one. That's one of the main problems when you do stuff before the quest is there and then it's a crafting task you hate yourself just like that okay we need a little bit of wool hunting task don't want shields right now um not right now the idea is good, but not right now. So what's that? Grabbing a stack of cobblestone, then making a furnace. This one is... crops. So we need like, what, eight sticks? I think we can make eight sticks. That shouldn't be a big problem. So four... and eight sticks. Cotton field is key. Yeah. So that's that. Yeah. Already found those. That's good. What's that? Uh, bone meal will help you grow food in seconds. Okay. Chop down some trees and. Okay. Trees for bone meal? Hmm. Why not? Okay. Um, what's that? Grab some carrots. So I think that's basically the thing I'm gonna do in between cuts because we need to cut a little bit more in this particular starting of the series because it's simply too grindy and also I mm. simply want to make me a little bit of food now so see you in a bit and we are back yeah in between I started clearing out the area here just a little bit more and also did a little bit of adventuring around our new home. I found another village here and grabbed a few of the stuff here. Here was a smeltery. And those are actually three Tinker Construct buildings. 
what was just great. So if we go in here real quick, uh, we have here a lot of parts that we may or may not later gonna use. We have the full Tinker Construct things and stuff and lots of patterns in those pattern chests. We will use the Tinker's Construct stuff later, but they are not yet discovered in the quest, so we're not gonna do that right now. Also grabbed a little bit more of dirt, cobblestone, wood, all the nice stuff and things. And I want to continue that because our greatest problem right now is actually starvation. We need food and for that I want to build a field. A little bit of start of a real farm build. I hopefully later can uh, expand to. But for that I really really need torches and that means we need to continue our quest line. I did a little bit here, killed a few pigs on the way. Um, also those are just tasks to click, so it's information about the enemies here. I grabbed a little bit of wool so we can hopefully make a bed now. Um, I think it doesn't give us anything else. Um, this also sword, shield, um, all of that. And yeah, we now also got this one here for the carrots. I still hadn't found now raspberries. I'm still looking for the raspberries. Hopefully find some fairly soon. And now I think the next part is this one here. We need to make a furnace, which is mm. just six cobblestone and three or should I say nine gravel so that should be just easy so doing that gives me three flint and doing that gives me the furnace now we have the furnace soon TM <laughs> yeah right so I think the first task is to make a bed so we can skip the night and for that we gonna need the mallet. Also this is nice to make here potatoes, roasted potatoes on a stick. I'm gonna make them but it's not that important to do it right now or on camera itself. So we need six wood and one stick to make a mallet. This shouldn't be problem for wood mm. and that means we only need three of those well two of those actually so that's six that's a stick and this should be a mallet yes right a mallet well I didn't count it wood because I crafted too fast. Yeah, that's the problem with those crafting tasks sometime and I'm pretty sure this will bite us again and again and again. So this is the soft mallet, perfect. So now let's come to make a bed. So for the bed I also need those fence posts. We got also some in a quest earlier, I know that part. Mm. So it's six wool. You're right, two fence posts and wood should be all. I think it was like three carpet. Let's see. No, sleeping bag. Also nice idea, but not right now. So it was... Somewhere around here, carpet, carpet, carpet. That's the bed. So, two fences, the mallet here, three carpet, and three wood gives us one bed. And now I can place our nice little bed just here and sleep in it real quick and this will make the night away. 
And if you wonder what those teleports and those game mode changes are, I hopped quickly into um, Spectator and made a screenshot of the town for the thumbnail of this episode. And I actually used the teleport option of journey map to get back and forth of those villagers because I actually don't see a real reason to run around and we don't have the home command in here because I haven't yet installed FTB utilities because there is no really a need for me using it just for me. So without FTB utilities there is no real way to get back and forth in a good way so I'm just using journey map to teleport to some points I already discovered. Um, someone is maybe called a chidi but it's just a convenience thing for me. So this is now the bat. So what's the next part? Because I think we are... Yes, we are hitting Stone Age now. That's perfect. That's really perfect. So I think the last thing in here is getting some silver wood and getting some great wood and already saw them out there so let's just grab a bit of that because that is great wood and there was some silver wood around I know that oh that's huge okay no that's not great wood what's that tree you are what? Sacred Oak. Okay, I actually thought that that would be the Tomcraft trees and not something completely different. Mm. Okay, I'm wrong. But I think there was a Tomcraft tree here in the village. Or was it also a Sacred Oak? No, I think it was actually a Tomcraft tree, so... Where was it? Somewhere around here? Yes? No? Maybe? Am I getting illusions? Maybe. That's great, but I know that for a fact. Yes, that's a hole. Yes, I found a hole and fall it right in it. Perfect. Nope, that's great wood. So let's grab some of that great wood. And maybe help for a sapling. How many we need? One sapling. Please give me a sapling somewhere. Oh, come on. Don't do that to me. Don't beat that kind of a tree. Just one for the sake of getting. I'll still be sane. Please. Just one sapling. I don't ask for much. Just a single, single sapling. Okay, maybe we are unable to get a sapling. So... Move a bit more of wood. And maybe some of the leaves are then decaying and giving me a sapling. I hardly doubt that fact, but maybe wonders still can happen. Or maybe those trees are just assholes. Er, I mean jerks. Never say the bad word in one of my episodes. No, no, no. I'm a goodie. I don't say bad words. 
Okay, on the other side, I don't really mark my videos as for children. I mean, I'm trying to keep family friendly, but no one is there to judge me. Please give me a sapling. Okay, I think that's um, just a little bit ridiculous, and I will come back to you, but not now. So we are not gonna finish this quest right now, but that's okay. And I think that's actually also most part of it. So we are now done with this one, and read some of those. We have here some nice quests. Wool, leather, saplings, eggs, more saplings, gardens, seeds. Also we have unlocked cooking stuff, so wheat and also here crops. Juices and what more stuff for farmcraft is also enabled. Uh, no, yeah, that's actually armor, but we're not gonna look in armor right now. Also, we are not that far in multi blocks right now. That's just killing tasks, so they will come by themselves. Uh, what's that? That's actually getting gardens and a healing axe. Actually, don't know what a healing axe is, but okay. Get all the gardens, make two tofu, and then get the food. So that's, yeah, a bit of a greater quest line than just getting the gardens and of course a reward area what is not now opened but I think we have stuff to do and we opened up the stone age we're gonna dive a little deeper in the stone age next episode but I think for now we're gonna hit the end of this episode so, in between episodes, I will start getting up a little garden area around here, or more like here. Hopefully, we can add torches. I still haven't yet figured out how to get torches, so let's take a look. We need coal or charcoal. Are we able to make charcoal as of right now? No, because for that we need the, co o the coke oven. We don't have that one yet. But coal should be okay. And maybe there is another way to get coal or something around that. Maybe I just need to mine a little bit for coal. But in the end, it should be doable for us to get a little bit of lighting and yeah cleaning up all of that part here and building a little bit of a farm maybe i now consider that i think we're gonna build the farm right here and just get rid of those farm standard vanilla farm area and also this house here and that house here and this nature stuff and just make it here maybe close off this part of the wall so nothing is able to come in here. Yeah, this is actually a good idea and something I can do in between episodes. And next episode, we then have food and can start right in the next quest lines. I'm actually gonna do that because it's one cent and I think we should get le at least one cent pretty quickly with just going out here. At least I hope that, but I think.
think we are actually quite near to water so let's maybe grab one sand because those are all so blueberries just give me one sand i only want sand and it's getting night again and i'm getting afraid we gonna teleport back in a moment when I have my scent, when I have my scent from this open shore, because there is sand. And now I'm going home. <coughs> okay, we maybe need to work on ours songwriting skills but at least for now we are done with this quest here and it opens up gathering a lot more sand also gathering gravel um, yeah it's any high quest line so not that important also more infos about any eye and giving me all those coins I don't really need but also grabbing clay and making stone and grabbing the stone so all of that is simply gathering tasks and I will do them in between episodes as well simply so we can start really good into next episode and have a lot of stuff to do together so until then take care of yourselves and each other and i see you guys in the next episode bye for now <laughs> <laughs>